If Trump wins, the world will be in trouble. If Joe Biden wins, some Africa countries will suffer. Primate Elijah Ayodele re re reviews. Good morning, everyone, and thank you all for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got your hearing this morning. Well, as a headline for this morning says here that if Donald Trump wins the election, the world will be in trouble. And if Joe Biden wins, some Africa countries will suffer. Primate Ayodele reviews. We have it that the founder and spiritual leader of the INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elijah Ayodele, has decided to release new prophecy and a video concerning the forthcoming U.S. presidential election between U.S. President Joe Biden and ex-president Donald Trump. Primate Ayodele, who made a such disclosure during one of his church services, which was uploaded on his church official X account a few minutes ago, says that the world will be in trouble if America businessman Donald Trump wins the U.S. presidential election and some African countries will suffer if President Joe Biden wins such election again. According to a clergyman, both presidential candidates are not fit to rule the United States of America. If Trump wins the American election, the world will be in trouble. If Joe Biden wins again, some African nations will suffer. Both Joe Biden and Trump are not good to lead. This is all that is under this headline as this parent Ayodele says that if Donald Trump wins the election, the world will be in trouble. If Joe Biden wins the election, some African countries will suffer as he reveals. Hmm. Omar, this man is known for saying a lot of things. A lot of things. Wow. This man, um, Parent Ayodele, who is the um, special leader of the INRI, Evangelical um, Spiritual Church, he decided to release some new prophecies because he's known for releasing a lot of prophecy concerning world matters and political matters. Yes, he's known for doing that. He made such disclosure during one of his church services that was uploaded on X on the church official X um, account. If you've not watched the video, you can go over to the church official X account to go watch that. And it says that the world will be in trouble. Yes, it says the world will be in trouble if American businessman Donald Trump wins the u.s presidential election and he says that some african countries will suffer if president joe biden wins the election again that means two of them are not even capable of ruining the united states of america that, at the end that, that was his idea he says that both of them are not fit to rule the election to to, to rule but there's no there's, no matter what one of them must win the election yes no matter what one one of them must win the election yes in his own words, Prime Elijah Ayodele says that if Trump wins the American election, the world will be in trouble. And if Joe Biden wins the American election, some African nations will suffer. What does the African nation got to do with Joe Biden? Yes. What does the, uh, some African nation got to do with Joe Biden? What do they have with Joe Biden? Well, well yes, do, do they have any um, connection with Joe Biden in any way? Because from it, it says that both Joe Biden and Trump are not good to leave the United States of America. Hmm. Looking under this comment section, I can see a lot of comments under this um, headlines comment section. Yutuma Sonny says that this is obviously a fake prophet. This obviously fake prophet should learn to be quiet sometimes. What kind of stupid statement is this? Was Trump not present before? Did the world come to an end? Nonsense, talkative prophets. Uh, it's true. To me, I, I think I, I support. I, I really support this man because this, this, this prophecy, this so-called prophecy that this man is saying that if Trump wins the election, the world will suffer. No, but I can't even understand it. What does you? What? What? What is going to happen? Because one of them is going to win. There's no how, no how. One of them is going to win. Yes, Trump has become pre has, uh, has been president before. The world didn't suffer. The world didn't die. So he should try to pick his words carefully before he comes out on the internet and say things. And Noah Uteno says that leaders ordained by God just need to pray for America. You should not be saying that if this one is elected, this will happen, this one is elected, this will happen. Instead, you should pray for the country to get better, as this person in the comment section says.
Moving more further, um, Peter Madu says that too many jagabans in the churches, like seriously, people are criticizing this man, like what do you, like too many fake prophets, too many jagabans in churches. To me, I believe what he just said is just to gain attention from the internet and he has got, he has gotten the attention he needs. He, he has gotten the attention he needs. But this aspect of if Trump wins the election, the world will be in trouble. If Joe Biden wins the election, some African country will suffer. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. Because there are some predictions that somebody may predict for you now. Out of fear, you, you may feel like um, obeying to those predict predictions, right? You may feel like doing something against what will happen. But this in this type of in this type of case, I don't see anything to, that needs to be done. Okay, will you tell Donald Trump and Joe Biden that two of them are out? They should not even contest at all. They should bring new contest co co contestants. No, you can't do that. So this. This this prophecy of this one, to believe believe me, I, I see it as a fake prophecy. Yes, I see it as a fake prophecy. Well, Peter Maduda says that why should a man of God start praying against what is what is preordained? When you speak, speak what the Lord of hosts has said. If you start trying to come over, come a clever gazi, you will receive. It's true. When you speak, speak what the Lord of hosts has said. Don't say what is contrary. Because even the Bible says that if you remove one word from it, you, you are you have removed out of your blessings. And if you add anything to it, you've added to your punishment. Yes, you've added to your punishment. So this man should be careful of his words. This man, like Sarah, you should be careful. And Shinemi Mitchell said that fake prophecy, Trump must win. Okay, Trump supporters. Trump was with me. I'm not. I'm not a fan of. I'm not a fan of Trump, nor a fan of Joe Biden. But I will say that this is a fake prophecy, and you guys, you guys now know. Or what do you guys think? Let me see your comment below in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button to be great one and the notification bell. So that anytime I have any new video concerning this, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you all for tuning in, and have a wonderful day ahead of you.